Hey guys, I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6 without any need of a computer, and it's really easy to do. But before we get into that, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because I make tons of content just like this that you definitely do not want to miss. Let's get into the video. So guys, first thing we're going to do is head on into settings, and in settings we're going to go to general, about, and just confirm that you are either on iOS 9.3.5 or 9.3.6. I am on 9.3.6, but if you are on 9.3.5, this will work perfectly for you as well. So now go ahead and go into Safari. Once you're in Safari, go ahead and type in this URL. Go ahead and load up the website. So you'll see these options here, VIP, regular, and jailbroken. Just go ahead and click regular. And inside of regular here, go ahead on down to download free version and just tap it. If it opens a new tab, just go ahead and carry on and go back down here and click it again. This time the install will pop up, go ahead and click install, and you can go ahead and leave the app. And you'll see that Panda Helper is now downloading. So guys, once Panda Helper is downloaded, go ahead and tap it, and it'll say untrusted enterprise developer, go ahead and click cancel, and head back into settings. Once you're in settings, Head on down here to general, scroll all the way down here to device management, and go ahead and trust the developer. So guys, we just trusted the developer, but one thing I have to mention real quick is that if Panda Helper fails to download, if it says it's unable to download, uh, try re-downloading it. Don't click retry. Go back on the website and try re-downloading it, and then put it in airplane mode when it gets to installing. That's just a quick tip if it doesn't work, but it, it most likely will work because most of the time it does work. But sometimes it will be revoked. Right now it is not revoked, so it is fully working. And when it is revoked, it usually only takes a few days for the developers to fix it. So if it's not working for you at one time, just give it a few days and the developers should be quick to fix it. But once you have Panda Helper downloaded, go ahead and go on into it. So I'm in Panda Helper now. Let's go ahead and swipe and skip this. And now we are into Panda Helper. Just ignore this crash thing. And let's go ahead and search. We're gonna search for Phoenix. Once you got Phoenix in there, go ahead and click search. And you should see the jailbreak right here. So when you click download, it will tell you, it'll ask you if you wanna not clone or clone. Go ahead and don't clone the app, install. And it will ask you to go to Twitter. So go ahead and just click go to Twitter and then it'll yank you in your web browser. Just double click the home button, swipe it away, and go back on to Panda Helper. Go ahead and click download, and try don't cloning the app again. And Phoenix is now downloading. Once Phoenix is done downloading, it'll go ahead and ask you if you wanna install, just go ahead and click install. So guys, you can see Phoenix is now completely done downloading, so just go ahead and go into Phoenix, once you're in Phoenix, go ahead and click prepare for jailbreak. Click accept. Click proceed with jailbreak and begin installation. Use the provided offsets and it'll go ahead and jailbreak your device. If you see storage almost full, this is likely to come up. Just click done and ignore it. Your device will now reboot. Once your device is rebooted, go ahead and slide it back to unlock it, and you'll see Cydia right here. Now before you guys leave the video, there is another thing I need to show you, just so that everything is completely working for you, and Cydia works perfectly. So go ahead and go into Cydia. Everything will load up for the first time. You'll see the sources down here is reloading. Once this comes up, just go ahead and click Return to Cydia, and you'll see two essential upgrades. You always want to click complete upgrade just so that everything works properly and your phone is fully secure. If you don't do a full upgrade, if you ignore this, you run the risk of tweak vulnerabilities, getting it, and causing your phone to just be generally less secure. So if you want to keep your phone secure and if you want to make sure Cydia works and everything's working properly, because a lot of tweaks actually require the newest version of Cydia, go ahead and click complete upgrade. 
you'll see it's gonna update all this stuff and it won't take long. It's only three megabytes to download. So go ahead and click confirm and it'll download the packages. After it's done installing, it may crash. You may have to click restart springboard. Either one will work. Just go ahead back into Cydia and you'll see there are no longer any updates. Now, one last thing I need to show you guys, and this is the last thing. I know I've said that I wanted to show you the update thing, but this is the last thing I need to show you and it's extremely important. So let me just show you if I turn off my device, when I turn it back on, you can see that if I go into Cydia, it crashes and Cydia is not working. So go ahead into Panda Helper and you can see Panda Helper is still working, which means that Phoenix will still work. If Panda Helper stops working, Phoenix will stop working. And if Panda Helper stops working, just go ahead back on the, the pandahelp.vip website and just go ahead and install it again and everything should be back to normal. But what we need to do with Cydia is we actually need to go into Phoenix app and in the Phoenix app, we need to kickstart the jailbreak. Go ahead and use the provided offsets again. It'll run the exploit and your phone will reboot. So the device is now rebooted, let's go back, back into it. And you can go into Phoenix and it'll tell you that your device is jailbroken, you no longer need to kickstart it, so go ahead and out of that. And you can go back into Cydia. So if your battery dies or you turn your phone off or any other thing like that happens, your phone turns off all the way if, you, if it dies or it's like really cold outside or something like that, just go ahead and go back into Phoenix and kickstart the jailbreak. Now, if Phoenix doesn't work, all you need to do is go back onto the pandahelp.vip app and go ahead and reinstall pandahelp, and that should fix Phoenix as well. If it doesn't fix Phoenix, try reinstalling the Phoenix from pandahelp. Also guys, if pandahelper says unable to install while you're downloading it, when it gets to the installing point, I already said this earlier, but make sure to try this. If it gets to the installing point, put it into airplane mode and see if that lets it install. If it doesn't work at all, it most likely means the certificate is revoked and it'll take a day or so to get fixed. So if it doesn't work on that day, just try it the next day and see if it works then because these certificates do expire. So if it doesn't work, just wait a day or so and try reinstalling it from the Panda Help website. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If it helped you out, please like the video and subscribe to my channel because it helps me out a ton. Plus I make tons of content just like this that you definitely do not want to miss. I'll see you in the next one.